Not a bad dream, my sweet. You take your charge too seriously, I think. Mama Maladay and her dog God are imprisoned beneath that volcano forever. You and Flint have seen that. They will never escape. Perhaps you're right, but I fear these may not be dreams. They might be a warning of some kind. A warning from the spirits. A very strong bokor is obscuring the message somehow. Impossible! No man, Bokor or not, is more powerful than you. Papa Doc, you are just worrying too much again. Yes, you are right of course, Zimbi. But still, the mountain, it stirs too much for my liking. I'm convinced that trouble is coming to Buju Island nonetheless, and coming soon. I can't believe that don't sink under them. <laughs> I feel bad for the dinghy. And Blue Belly, don't eat all the bananas before you row back like last time. We'd like some too, if you don't mind. Aye, and don't eat the entire island, neither. We need a place to land. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really funny, guys. Original. Pick on the fat cook. Catch your pie holes, you pukes. We're on lookout, remember? I'll be gone. Hi. I I will Bye. do. The lookouts are in place, Captain Greenbeard. Flint ship won't get past us unnoticed. You sure it's supposed to be tonight? Yes, yes. I made sure he got the letter yesterday. But Flint's crew, will he have a full compliment? We spiked their food with some Vuju powder. Half of them will be too sick to make the trip. You worry too much, Batty. <laughs> the trap is perfect. The blonde fool won't be king for much longer. Could have picked on Stinky Sam. That guy never bathes. A pig like Polly. Lost his leg in a bet. Idiot. I just have to remember this is for Rosie's braces. This is all for Rosie's braces. Where are the baskets? Oh, bloody hell! I forgot the baskets again! Are you sure working with this photo witch is such a good idea? <coughs> you damn well better not be having second thoughts, Batty. Or it'll be you Queen Zimby sacrifices to that... Thing, not Flint. After tomorrow night, I'll be Pirate King, not Flint. You best remember that. No, Captain. I would never question you. I am loyal. I swear it. Captain Jade Starling. Thanks for the story, Greeny. Can't wait to tell Flint. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Row to shore, now! Who are you? Jane Stone, at your service. Captain Flint's chief spy. Now row! Mr. the cook! I didn't do anything! They're trying to kill me! And you do because you're helping me! Sire, Queen Zimbi said you were hurt and needed no, me. No, my friend, I'm fine. But no need for this sire nonsense with me, Mister. I'm here because of your message. Are Ishel's spells truly failing? Not sure, but the island does stir again. I did not send you a summons. Well, if you didn't, who did? Queen Zimby did! Flint, this whole thing is a trap! Jane? What the devil are you doing here? After Kate left, I had a hunch about Greenbeard, and it was right! I stowed away. Greenbeard and some Buju witch planned to sacrifice you to... to... to something! I didn't understand! This isn't possible, Jane. Old Greenie has been loyal to me for years. You have any proof? <gasps> what was that? I'm afraid it's my proof. Mm -hmm. Toast old Roger in hell for this treachery. 
No, Captain Flint. It will be you who sup with old Roger once I am through here. Besides, I need Greenbit alive. For who will command my pirate fleet when you are gone? Take them. What the devil? <laughs> 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 What? What happened to us? I'm glowing, and I'm transparent, and... What the devil? Yeah, weird. Well, at least I'm not glowing pink. Damn Queen Zimbi. I should have known. Ah. Yes, we are disembodied spirits, or what you would call ghosts. Then we are, uh, We are, uh... Dead? No, not completely. Not yet, anyway. Yet? Regardless, we need to go free Captain Flint, now! Wait, woman! I have a plan. You need to listen instead of running off. Look, you go find a ship or anything to get us off Buju Island. You, uh, what's your name? My real name's kinda stupid, so I just go by Bluebelly. Really? Why? Can we discuss his name later? Aye, Bluebelly, you go find our bodies and bring them to the Greater Temple. Wait, someone is coming. Queen Zimbi was born at midnight, which gives her the power to see spirits. So stay quiet and take cover. That is where you must go, my fat friend. Hey! Just stay quiet, and she won't hear or see you. It would be foolhardy to try and rescue Captain Flint with just the three of us. So we have to get off the island and get help. I think we have time. You should know. The magic I used to save us has also bound us together. As spirits, we can hear each other's words, see through each other's eyes, and can sometimes even control each other's bodies. Remember that. So what are you going to do? I need to figure out a way to break into my own temple. Zimbi and I cast a lot of spells on the temple in order to ward off all manner of dark lowers or spirits. <sighs> I never thought I would actually be one of them. Let us be off. Here is the first barrier, these warding stones. I won't be able to overcome their magic, but the salt on the other hand... Hmm... Ow! I can't go near it nor touch it. I'm going to have to find some other way of removing it, before I can gain entry. We have to save this world, so I can eat mackerel and banana again! I understand. Hmm, something is amiss. I have enough for a trail of about 12 paces. The path from the coop to the academy is well over 50 paces long. Water spillway that keeps the chickens from drowning. The water used to cool the surface of the lava and make a little land bridge. Most amusing.
sure. A couple coconuts will come in handy. Oh my lord, the coconuts are haunting. We can't lose any more or Queen Sippy will kill us. Again. The zombies are preventing me from taking any coconuts. The lower half of the granary is empty. The latest quake must have spilled all the coconuts to the ground. If I try to open that door, the zombie workman would probably close it. This will teach him to have someone hold the ladder. Ah, ah! You guys got to get back on schedule. Yes, sir. I should help the coconuts along their life path. Mm. Coconut milk is escaping down the ravine. Now that is interesting. The coconut milk has cooled some of the upper layer of lava. If this is going to work, I need more coconut milk. Inspired choice. Ow! What the? Stop throwing stuff! Perhaps I can provoke them into quitting their oppressive, low paying work. Gentlemen. Oh, it's on. Bring it. Consider it brought. Zombies always turn on each other. <laughs> There are two loose posts here. I'm dead one day, and the school goes to heck. Go on, chickens. You're free. Ah, the prison is in their own minds. Good. This part to the entrance is much shorter. No, no, hush! We only have to deter cock crows. Perfect. Silence! Oh, that's a second cock crow. One left. Papa Doc has returned.
Great Ishel, please hear my words if you can. I need your assistance returning our spirits to our bodies. I can't do it alone. You must hear me, please. This relic of a shell seemed blocked for the past few weeks. So why should I think it works now? Queen Zimbi must have written a hex on it. I need to find a way to remove it. I must contact Ishel and find my juju staff to recombine our souls and bodies. <laughs> 